You so brought forward the new man that it's armor. You so brought forward the light that it's no longer um, day and night cycles, which is why in Ephesians 5, he says, redeeming the time because the days, plural, are evil. You rede reduced all those days down to one day because there's no darkness. The, the light is just shining. The sun always stays up. It never goes down. You're standing in that one day. And not only are you standing in the armor, but that armor of light is also the glory that other people are seeing on you, which is the rest of your ministry. Your first ministry is intimacy with Jesus and growing, building this temple, having God come more and more in his fullness to visit and stay with you and fellowship and love, because that's his first uh, goal with you is for you to know him. Fellowship, you're a son to a father, you're a brother to Jesus. Uh, that intimacy is paramount. But the byproduct of that, of coming forward in that, is you become a temple that is filled with God. So then the Gentiles, meaning uh, sinners, are going to come and see the glory on your face, the way you're seeing the glory on Jesus' face. The world is seeing the glory on your face. And then when they see you, they see Jesus, and they see the Father sent Jesus to save them. You just become this light for them. You become a conduit for people to see you, to see Jesus to see that the Father sent Jesus for them, to see that, uh, wow, the Father loves them as he loves Jesus. You've already found that out in your intimacy, and now you've become such a clear conduit that you brought that glory forward in your life, so now the world sees your face, but they really don't see your face, they see the glory of Jesus. They see the Father sent Jesus. They see the Father loves them the way the Father loves Jesus, and they get born again, praise God.